friends today in this training video we are going to learn about the invoke code okay so we will be taking three different scenarios the first one is uh, using invoke code how do you write a string okay there will be a string value how do you write that and the second scenario is how do you write integer value like a number right and then we'll also see if user is giving some data right uh, let's say we have to add two numbers using arguments in the invoke code so how do you utilize all of this please continue with the video where i will be letting you know how to do that uh, hello friends this is rakesh i upload uipath training videos daily welcome to expo hub where experts meet if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe now and hit on the like button while you go thank you so much let's get started all right let me show you these are the different codes that i am going to let you know how to do that okay so let's get started with a very basic one okay so the very first thing that i will be doing is invoke code okay this is what that i'll be teaching on invoke code okay so click on edit code and here write console dot write line and here within brackets i'm going to write a string let's say welcome to expo hub okay this is the string i would like to print so click on okay and now let's run it okay just have a check over here in the output panel you can see welcome to expo hub this uh, string has come over here okay all right let's say i want to print a uh, number right print a number uh, so how do i do that okay printing a sim simple uh, number i want to print okay now let's say i am going to create a variable user input one let's say okay and this is supposed to be integer type all right um, now there is no value and let's say i am going to ask customer using an input dialog box okay and when he enters that that should get stored in user input one variable okay now what i want this value whatever he's entering that should get displayed over here so for that i'll be using edit argument okay and here i am going to create a argument so let's say num one argument is the is the argument i am going to create okay and this num one dot argument should be a integer type and this should get value from which variable user input right Oops, sorry there's a delay okay user input one so what is happening what is the uh, how this one works is num one dot argument is a newly created argument user input is something coming from the input dialog box this is already a variable created in your workflow and this whatever value comes over here that will in in into this argument okay let me show you how this one works now here what i'm going to do is in the code i'm going to write another line and say right line within bracket i will say the first number the first number is okay and i'll click on plus sign and here i am using num1 right num1 dot arc this is my first value because it is an integer type i'll be converting that to to string simple 
okay let's see how this appears first of all and have a look in the output panel entering asking me to enter the first number let's say i'm entering 100 you can see this has typed it here the first number is 100 so you understood how to use the argument okay now we'll go to the next scenario wherein i wanted to uh, you know ask the user and add you know i want to show the total value so i will be using another input dialog box and here i will create another variable control k and i will say user input 2 and this is supposed to be an integer type variable come back over here change this to integer type so i think that's simple and then here i will say enter the second number right so i think this is becoming easy second number and here first one will go to input one second will go to input two done and this is what we need to learn edit code click here so now i want to store the let's say i want to say the second one i want to show both the numbers so i'll just copy this and here instead of first i will say second number and instead of one i will say two so this two is done now one thing is required if i sum num one dot argument value and this value that should store in a third variable right okay for that i am going to create a third variable over here so num one and num two is already created right okay so num two is not created so let me create a num2 argument and this gets the value from user input 2 okay and this is supposed to remain a integer type done now when i sum it both the values should store in another value let's say i am going to give, create another value argument called sum argument sum arg okay and uh, this i am not defining anything apart from i am making as integer 32 and here i am keeping as both in and out okay and click on okay so because i am not going to enter anything over here rather i will do the sum inside the code so it, this uh, you can leave it blank for the moment okay so now go to the code and here in the code i am going to say sum arg is equals to num one arg plus num two arg okay so both the things i am going to add it okay once you add it then you want to write another line right which will say so just copy this and i will say the sum value is okay and here now tell me which argument i'll be using again it is there in front of in front of us which is sum a r g okay and then i have to because it is a right line the code is a, of right line i have to convert this to to string simple so this is all done okay now there should not be any error now now let me know where is the error why the error is still here let's click on edit code okay so here it is sum arg sum arg dot to string is perfect perfect uh, num1 num2 and sum arg num1 dot arg num2 so everything looks fine over here let let us go to edit argument and see that okay so let me delete some arch let me keep it as out okay integer 32 some arg num1 dot arg everything looks fine to me but still there is some kind of a compiler error expected at line 2 error code expected at line 2 so let's see what is the problem with line, line 2 okay so we have to close this okay so there was a that was the problem
okay so this is gone now let me um, show you that okay if i run it now let's see what happens okay asking for the first number let's say 10 asking for the second number let's say 20 all right wow so you can see that how this has come awesome right 10 20 and the sum value is 30 so that everything has been written using the argument so you understood in case i want to show that in a message box i want to carry it out right so what i will do i'll create another variable here so just do control k and this is sum for user you want to carry this out so let's say user sum i'm creating a new variable okay and again ensure the okay ensure the user sum is an integer type okay so that is done now i want to show it in a message box so you want to carry that forward so if you have noticed um, uh, the argument uh, is of out kind right if you see it here it is of the direction is towards out so this will give whatever value comes over here that will jump to user sum and then you will see the value so here if i say um, let's say the total is let's say i want to say total is the total is and here i want to give a plus sign and i want to say what is that uh, value user sum you said right user sum so i'll be using user sum uh, the system is quite slow today user sum okay so that way it should uh, print the value just add it to string okay now let me run it you will see okay enter the first number let's say 30 and at the second one, let's say 40. Okay, so it is writing the sum and it's also showing me a uh, message box. The total is 70. So this is done through uh, the direction is out. Okay, so this are the entire thing that I would like to cover through this video. Thank you guys. Please do hit on the like button while you go. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.